Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix the error. The last time you opened, it caused a serious error whenever you're trying to open an Excel on your computer. Now, you might come across this error message when you're trying to open an Excel file. Now, this error could be because of various reasons. Some of the reasons could be a corruption in Excel file, an outdated Excel software version. It could be due to corrupted or faulty add-ins or the program to quit unexpectedly or it could be an issue related to the corrupted office suites. Now there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now the first and foremost step which you could try to get this issue resolved is uh, reboot your computer. Now reboot, restarting your computer can indeed be useful solution for a various problem including MS Excel serious error. When you restart your computer it clears the system's memory and may solve the temporary malfunction that could be triggering this error. Once you restart your computer you can try to open the Excel file and see if the issue has been resolved. Now in spite of trying this issue and if you're still facing a problem the next step what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and disable office or Excel add-ins how do you do it you will have to open Excel blank new Excel or a blank document once you have Excel open on your computer you will have to click on file at the top left corner of your Excel window and then click on options once you click on options you may go ahead and click on add-ins once you're on the add-ins you will have to on the right hand side you will have to look for manage from the list you will have to select com add-ins and then click on go once you click on go you will have to go ahead and uncheck all the add-ins and then close excel click on ok and then close excel and then try to open the file which you're trying to open uh, we're throwing the error message and see if it works if it works well and good you don't have to worry about the uh, next step um, the next step what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to repair or damage the Excel file which you're trying to open to do this you will have to open Excel on your computer the blank Excel on your computer and once you have the uh, blank document open you will have to click on file at the top left corner and then click on open and then click on browse now here what you need to do is you need to go to the location where you have your document which we're throwing the error message in my case for the demonstration purpose I have saved the file on the desktop so let me navigate to the desktop now here you have to be uh, careful while following this step you don't need to double click on this file which you're trying to open instead you will have to highlight the document uh, which you're trying to open or select it once you have selected the document a troubled document then on the right hand side of the pop-up window you will have to click on the drop down under open and then use the option which says open and repair so with this you will get a message saying that excel can perform checks while opening this you may go ahead and click on repair with this what the excel will try to do is your excel will try to fix if there are any issues related to the uh, document in case if you are able to open the document with this well and good all you need to do as a next step is you will have to try to save this document uh, with a different file name on a different location and that should do now once this has been uh, open you don't have in case if you are able to open the document you don't have to try the next step now in spite of trying all this step and if you are still seeing this error message the next step what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and repair your office now to repair your office what you can do is um, you can press windows and r simultaneously on your keyboard or else you can do a right click on the start button and click on run to open the run window in the run window you will have to go ahead and type the command avis.cpl so this is the command which will open the programs and features window click on ok this will display the list of softwares which are currently installed on your computer once you have this list to locate you will have to go ahead and locate your microsoft office in my case I'm using Office 365 uh, in yours it could be a different it could be either office 2010 or 2019 or it could be any other version all you need to do is you need to highlight the office and then click on change in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen and the next window what uh, you would see is an option to repair your office in case if you're using office 365 you will see two options quick repair and online repair if it is office 365 i strongly recommend to go ahead with the online repair and then click on 
one repair in case if you are using other version you may go ahead and choose the repair so with that what it will do is online it would try to fix the corrupted files it will down, down re-download the corrupted files and uh, try to fix those and uh, that should fix the problem once the repair is complete uh, you may go ahead and restart your computer once you restart your computer try to open excel and try to open the file which you're having trouble with and see if it works if it works well and good you don't have to try the next step as an uh, as the last step uh, what i would suggest you is um, to update your office to do this you can open excel on your computer once you open excel open the blank document and then click on file at the top left corner and then click on account under account on the right hand side you will see an option which says update options under this you can go ahead and choose the option which says date now what this will do is this will go ahead and update your office application in case if there are any updates to be installed it will try to go ahead and install those updates in case if your office is up to date you will see the message like the one which you're seeing on the screen once it is done you may close the office application and then try to open the file and that should definitely fix a problem in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day